Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In case you are new here, hi, my name is Bia and I am truly passionate about beauty, especially when it comes to makeup. In today's video, I am going to give you some inspo for your next night out, festive, holiday, whatever you want to call it, glam. I did this very cool tone glam that I honestly love. It is not the first time that I do it because it is honestly so flattering and so appropriate for this type of occasion. So in case you want to see how I did it, just keep on watching. But first, don't forget to subscribe and like this video in case you haven't already. And we shall begin this makeup look. All my life, I've struggled with dark circles. I constantly look like I'm very sleep deprived. So I ha always have to color correct. Like there is no concealer that can save me from this. So I always go in with this NYX color correcting concealer palette. This has any color that you could possibly need for any type of correction. I missed filming tutorials here on YouTube. I love long form content. I mean, I love TikTok. Don't get me wrong, but like, I like to talk. And sometimes when I do tutorials on TikTok or get ready with me videos, I end up with footage for a 10 minute video instead of like one, two or three minutes max. Let's conceal this redness that I didn't even really notice that was here. Guys, I don't really know what's going on with my skin. On this holiday glam, I am actually going to be wearing a lot of recent products like launches of 2022 so that we can like almost recap this year. But let me just tell you that I didn't break the bank for this video because I, I, I can't. So I am only going to be using the launches that I have. And one of them is this NARS foundation. This is from the like reflecting line that they launched this year. And I am obsessed with this foundation. I know for a fact that I will be repurchasing this. It is going to always be one of my go-to foundations. This has medium coverage. It has skincare ingredients and the finish is so stunning. It has a natural radiant finish like it claims to. And I don't know, like it just looks so flawless on my skin. It's just my skin, but better much better and i know that my brushes are dirty but it's the end of the week okay so i gotta clean them i always wash my brushes on the weekend so that they actually have time to dry the foundation is on and now it is time for creamy bronzer this one is also a launch from this year that i am equally obsessed about like this is so good it is the nars laguna bronzing cream and when i tell you that this formula is insane i am not lying guys this honestly blends like a dream the pigmentation is right on point and the shades are so beautiful. I haven't used my Real Techniques sculpting brush in a minute, so I'm going to use it today. I am probably going to regret this on the weekend when I have double the amount of brushes to wash, but until then, I'll not worry. <laughs> Just going to apply it in the same spots as usual. I mean, this brush is knitting retirement, like ASAP. It is way too well loved and I'm going to blend it, don't worry. Honestly, this formula blends so well. And it is a pretty neutral shade, so I use it both as bronzer and as contour. Okay guys, I am back with my Japanese contour brush because the other one honestly just needs retirement. It is about damn time. I feel like my skin is getting so much drier. I think that it's both because the temperature has dropped significantly in the past few weeks i would say like in the past week or two and also because i am back to applying retinol at night so my skin has definitely been a lot drier than usual but it's kind of normal it is that period in which the skin is kind of like adapting once again i love this formula to the fullest now off to blush i know that i didn't film an updated complexion routine i should probably do that because a few things have changed and one of them is that now i apply creamy blush before my concealer i just find it a lot easier this way to get the right placement on each product you know like once the makeup look is done everything just looks a lot better and the creamy blush that i'm going to be using is a soft matte cream blush from la girl and the one that i'm taking is the one in the shade grace this formula is quite thick, so I need to do this to apply it. I love the formula, but if you try to apply it directly, it can be a lot, especially because it's super pigmented. And I am taking another contour brush from Japanese because these brushes are just amazing. And I know that I look crazy, but don't mind me because now I am going in with a concealer. The concealer that I'm taking is the Power Flex from Tarte. And honestly, this concealer should be way more hyped than what it is. It has a very natural radiant finish 
and it has medium coverage and I don't know I just love the finish it looks very very beautiful on the skin I am full of cat hair like I don't know what else to do I am so pale right now I need something to blend it I am using a Japanese sponge I am going off camera to fill in my brows and I will be right back okay so for the last creamy formula I am going in with the iconic London illuminator I am back to using this one all the time this just gives me the most beautiful radiance like that glow from within finish that I've ever seen and I just cannot stop but I've been using a different way of applying it that I saw on TikTok I don't know like the creator I don't remember it anymore but like I apply a few drops in the back of my hand spread it a little bit and then I go in with the sponge that I'm using to do my makeup and I apply it on my skin this way you kind of make sure that the application is very seamless it's very even you don't have any illuminator patches on your face which sometimes would happen to me if I try to apply it directly I apply it not only on the this area but also a little bit on my forehead on the size of my chin so that once I turn my face like it glows all over and the most recent addition is in here I know that it's weird but like sometimes when I take photos having a little bit of highlighter on this part of the bone makes the world of a difference i pretty much apply it in all of those areas that my skin would naturally shine first one is setting spray and i am using the next setting spray with a matte finish my skin actually feels so dry that i wish that i had a dewy finish right now but i ran out of it oh my god it's too cold for a spray <laughs> to start setting all of this i am going in with the laura mercier translucental setting powder i love this so much you guys know that i have been using this for years now <gasps> jesus christ Lord have mercy. <laughs> Moving on to powder bronzer and blush. The bronzer that I'm taking is this one from Urban Decay. This is the beach bronzer in the shade Sun Kissed. Since the cream bronzer that I used was pretty neutral, I like to go in with this one because it is way warmer. So it definitely acts more like a bronzer. I just feel like this way I add just the perfect amount of warmth to my face. For blush, I am keeping it very light, very subtle, because I want the eyes to be a little bit more dramatic. And for that, I am taking the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Exposed. I always use this blush whenever I am trying to keep the blush part very subtle. Because this just adds that flush of color without it being too intense. I just feel like if I have a very intense blush going on, I just have to keep the eyes very subtle because otherwise I just feel like in the end it's just always too much. Last powder that I'm going to be using today, the Bobbi Brown Highlighting Powder in the shade Pink Glow. I have been obsessed with this. This just gives me like the most subtle glow like it makes me look like i'm glowing from within and i honestly love to pair it with the illuminator from iconic london i feel like together they work so well now moving on to the eye part which is honestly the part that i was the most excited about i am going to start by taking this Zoeva pencil this is one of the limitless joy eyeliner pencils and this one is in the shade trust which is pretty much the black shade i am going to do a very dramatic smoky eye and i am going to start by doing a black smoky eyeliner D just to start shaping things and building up the intensity and don't worry if this gets messy because we can always clean it with concealer on the lower part on the upper part lord have mercy no but for real like we are going to smoke it out and we are going in with eyeshadow on top so we don't really need to be that precise these pencils are so underrated as i am telling you they are so smooth they're so buttery so pigmented to smoke it out i am going in with the 238 from zoeva i am going to do zigzag motions and then i'm going to do inward motions to bring the depth to my outer V and to the outer part of my crease as well. This formula is so easy to blend and it gives you a lot of time to blend. But once it dries, it will not smudge, it will not leave. Like, it is such a great formula. And it's very friendly to our wallets, which is even more impressive. Guys, honestly, building this is a journey. Like, I go little by little and then I apply some more, blend it some more, clean the edges. And I just go back and forth a lot of times and I just ended up messing this. It's okay, we can remove it. And the reason why I'm taking this towards my outer V is because I am going to need that darker shade in there. So I might as well have the base of the pencil. Now taking the Tarte Latin Bloom eyeshadow palette from Tarte. I love this. This is my favorite eyeshadow palette for everyday looks. It is honestly my go-to. I am taking Jet Setter, which is a more neutral slash cool shade of brown it is pretty ashy and i am going to blend it all over my crease and i don't know if i mentioned this i don't think so but i am using it to do away from zoeva which is my all-time favorite blending brush it is the best honestly if you don't have one you are missing out it is 
very inexpensive compared to high-end brushes and it works so well. Now to set the pencil and blend it even further and kind of connect it with a lighter matte eyeshadow, I am taking Smoke Show. This is not black, but it's a very deep gray shade. So it kind of helps me blend it perfectly and just kind of build the perfect transition. And I am using this Arja makeup brush that I love so much to do this. This is the 201. It just has like the perfect density, the perfect shape, the perfect size. I am going to start replicating the matte part on the lower lash line just to build some balance. To finish off the eyeshadows, I am taking Rocker, which is this very grayish shimmer. And using my finger, I am going to apply it all over my lid. This is a very subtle shimmer and the shade is absolutely stunning. Guys, I really don't know what the hell is going on with my camera. I'm getting scared because it is not focusing by itself. I literally have to focus it manually on the button of the camera. Like, I cannot do it any other way. I don't know what's going on, honestly. But yeah, let's just hope for the best. Maybe it's the battery. I know that the battery is it's very old. It needs to be changed. And sometimes when batteries start to become faulty, like they make things just work weird. So maybe that's it. I am going to take my MAC pencil in the shade Strip Down to line my lips. And for lipstick, I am using the same old one that I love so much, which is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. I love this lip combo. I love everything about this makeup. And yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. I just hope that you leave this video feeling inspired to do your next holiday glam. I honestly love this type of glam for the holiday season or for a night out, honestly, because it is very sultry, very dramatic. And I don't know, I just truly vibe with smoky eyes. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. And in case you want to binge watch my content, here's another video that I think that you will love. And yeah, that is it. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and like this video in case you haven't already. And I will see you on my next one. Bye!